Hi everyone, Peter here. In this video, we're going to take a look at a new feature Google have just added to Google Meet, which lets you share a single tab in Chrome. So let's dive right into our Google Meet now and try this new feature out. Okay, so once we get into the Google Meet and go down to present now, you'll see in addition to the two previous options, which we had, where you can present your entire screen or a single window, we now have an option to select a Chrome tab to share with the other participants in that meeting. So when I click this, I get a list of all of my active tabs in Chrome. So let's select this web page and press share. And now you can see it's automatically switched to that tab for me. And I've got a new bar along the top, which lets me stop sharing uh, when I want to finish presenting. Now, another nice feature I've noticed is if I switch to a new tab, I can then quickly say, let's share this tab instead, and it will stop sharing the previous tab and switch the focus over to this new tab. And when we finish presenting, all we need to do is press stop now and go back to our Google Meet window. Now you might have noticed when we go to present now and select a tab to present, we've got a new option here, uh, which lets us share the audio from that tab. So if I leave that option selected and let's select a YouTube video this time and press share. And now let's rewind it and press play. Now this audio will be shared with the other participants in the meeting. I've just tried this out uh, by joining a meeting uh, twice as myself and it seemed to work really well. The audio came through uh, pretty clear and it's been much easier to set up than some of the workarounds we're having to do in the past. When we switch back to the main Google Meet screen, you notice we've also got a presentation audio option here, which has been added. So we can stop sharing the audio uh, while still sharing that tab, which looks like it could be really useful. Okay, that's it for this video. Hopefully this new feature will be useful for you in your remote teaching and learning. Thanks.